everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Kevin Owens, Just Keep Fighting. Uh, first off, I apologize, I'm a little bit late on this video and some other videos. Um, I got COVID, so I've been a little bit tired and under the weather. Uh, I will try and get them out as soon as possible. I'm doing fine, so no need to worry or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, so... Ao, he is a modern era striker. He's chaotic. He has the raw link. Any color move starts with one more move point, and he's modern era. Gems do five percent more damage. Standard link, just keep fighting. He's a trainer at twenty-six thousand, which is six star. Purple moves that deal damage will deal one hundred percent more damage. Purple moves start with two more MP. Those triple purple guys that are out there that have decent move damage, this would be quite good for. Uh, maybe somebody like uh, what, uh, Brett, uh, the triple six star build for Tech Brett. I'm sure there's other ones I'm not thinking of right off. I can't remember Riddle. If he does a triple purple, I think he does. Uh, might be very beneficial to him. I don't know the move damage on them. That's be NXT Riddle. <clears throat> uh, maybe like a Numaga. I'm not sure right off, though, to be honest. Uh, so very good training ability. We're getting a bunch of these. Um, let's see, his strap. Uh, no plate right now. I'm going to put one on at the end, uh, and I'm going to show a, a good build at the end. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, this move damage metal is worth noting. It's a 200% black. does have double fury, not maxed out on this one. Um, the strap is just my rainmaker, uh, so no extra gem damage there, so... 200% black move damage, 100% gem damage, actually 108, uh, so nothing too crazy uh, at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, you could certainly have better. Um, first move set we're going to see, hopefully, is this one. Yes, all right, perfect. Uh, Chokehold, 8 MP, sub. Choose 10 gems to make into black submission gems. Do 171,000 uh, for three turns. Remaining turn into power gems of 53,000. Pop a power bomb, 8 MP blue, deal 135k damage, increase the strength of your power gems by 71k. Cannonball, deal 134k damage, and swap a 3 by 7 random area into blue gems. Random area is worth noting. Uh, one move we're not going to see, because it needs to be in a tag match. It doesn't say it only works if you're in a tag match, but it only works if you're in a tag match. Does not work on regular matches, at least when I tried it. Uh, 6 MP Springboard Moon Cell, deal 224k damage, increase owner's tag counter by 3 turns, and gain 6 black MP. We won't be seeing that one, uh, but we'll see the rest of them. Uh, this moveset would be much better with a skill plate like the new one that came out. I think it's called like the Dog Ear Gremlin one. It adds blue gem damage after the sub of 100%. Obviously, you, you would be buffing your blue gems, which there's a significant amount of. This move, <clears throat> theoretically, is great. Excuse me. <clears throat> sorry. Um, I'm sorry. This <clears throat> theoretically pretty great. Makes the protect gem strength of 120k. Uh, but it's really hard to keep a significant amount of them on the board. Um... Because it, this goes in a random area, right? On top of only choosing 10, and you need to choose some to make this, it goes in a random area. So really, honestly, guys, there's probably not a lot of reason why you would ever run this build, you know, um, when you could use the stun or other stuff. But this is to show the increased power gem strength move, so we're going to run it. Uh, Entourage, I'm going to try and keep most of the, these until the last build. The Entourage is fairly tame. Uh, exception on the next one you're going to see, but again, it's another build you wouldn't run uh, competitively unless it was maybe like a boss battle, which is what I have for that. Anyway, Lacey, Lawler, China for blue gem damage, Hoffa for blue gem damage, since we're making 21 moves. Uh, the only 6-star opponent right now is Dom, um, which is fine except he overwrites everything with his uh, gems. So the boss battle build I may not even be able to do on him, to be honest. We'll see how this goes. Um, 1.25 speed. 
So you would just start off with this sub. You can see there's a ton of black gems, which actually doesn't do us any favors. Um, especially because they're on the edges, right? Um, so, And that's really where I think the best spot is to keep your power gems, if possible. It's like on the edges, we still need to feel, fill our move. So a four and a three match is probably what I would do. And am going to do. And let's... Uh, see what happens between him breaking gems and the random. We're doing great so far. We kept seven. He's going to overwrite a bunch of them anyway. Again, this is not ideal at all. And also why I'm not going with power gem trainer coaches. You could easily go with the power gem trainer coaches, but I mean really one, two, three, four before we even hit the random move. Um, would it really matter with four power gems? And, you know, even if they didn't get overwritten, we'd have six. Would, again, that really matter compared to other stuff you're going to see? I don't think so. Uh, and then you have the random move following up, so. And it wiped out a bunch of them, of course. Uh, we did keep two. But you can see that hit for, like, a million, which isn't terrible. Uh, in most scenarios. Uh, against a low charge guy like Dom, though, this build is not suited for. So this match is going to take a little while. I probably will end up dialing it up to two times speed after you see the move some. Again, the problem with this is... Ideally, we keep these gems. You can see there's already matches. I want to try and get rid of those. Um, to keep these two intact. I'm sure that makes sense if you're keeping score at home here. This guy here. Sure. That's not really where I would have liked to seen the wild card go. It's in a terrible spot. But it is what it is. He'll probably override him anyway. I'm going to crank this to two times speed. We'll be here all day and my voice won't be able to handle it. So we did lose all of our buff gems, no surprise. And again, this is random, so it may overwrite our only power gems. One of them. Right, so you see a little bit of the problem. We lost another one because it's random. So again, only a million damage. I don't honestly, guys, see a reason to run this build. You can do stuff to fluff it up, right? Um, certainly. You can use the power gem coaches, you can... But it's too random for me. That's okay, KO has other good stuff. This is to show the news, which people like to see. Um, I have COVID brain, so, you know. Even under the best circumstances, really, um, I don't make the best matching decisions all the time, so. I do appreciate uh, all the messages I've gotten and stuff. Um, basically, the whole family has it, and we're all doing fine now. Uh, and I do appreciate the, the comments and concerns and stuff. That means a lot. So thank you, everybody, that did that. Who knew about it? Because I'm not really So we have kept, I think, this these two. So they're getting a little bit beefier at 200k. Still not, like, amazing. And this random move has a chance to override it. Just like that. So again, like, you could have scenarios where it ends up working quite well. Obviously, if you're picking here and there. Um, you could buff the power gem coaches. You go, Dom makes it worse because it's covering up some of them. But really... Um, there's not. That makes a lot of sense to me. And the more black gems you see, normally you'd be like, oh, that's that's great. No, not so much, right? Again, it doesn't help because Dom covers everything up.
doesn't help because he's got so many um, heal gems down on the board too. So we're not seeing the full potential with this blues, these blues as well. because this build sucks. I wish I had somebody other than Dom to go against that was 6-star. The other option was fighting against the 5-star gold, but, you know, how that goes. Better than this, probably, though. And here comes Random. Overwrites almost all of the gems, which you'd run into anyway, so whatever. I almost didn't even bother putting this move in the increase the power gems because it's really I mean it's just there this is fun I don't really care about the power gems. Disclosure, I want to get rid of a bunch of these heal gems. That's the goal here. <clears throat> Let's try and get rid of some of the heal gems. Health, to be honest, and um, you know what? I'm about ready to just force close it. It's a waste of everybody's time, including mine. Um, frustrating that there are just sometimes not really good options to show characters on. But it is what it is. This is at least a good example of why you would never run this build. Especially against somebody like Dom. I recommend just running this through at like two times speed here. I really don't have a lot useful to say at the moment. Other than this is in here because people want to see all the moves. Which I get, because I wanted to see them all too when I was in a content career. So. I always sucks when they're like, ah, they're just bad, but you don't get to see them actually being bad. You know? 
Oh. Or at least that always bothered me. To be fair, Dom is really quite good, and this is a horrible matchup for this one, so... Don't kick out. Is that that's over? One, two, three. Oh. All right, next. Not gonna go against Dom for this one. Once is enough um, for me. So. be more what I would consider a boss battle build for him. Um, Backs, okay. Alright. Finisher, stunner, 10 MP black, deal 170k damage, make 28 immobile gems into green gems. Avalanche, swinging fisherman's buster. 4 MP green, deal 70k damage, choose 2 gems to make into 2 turn juggernaut gems. That will increase your black MP by 4 on every countdown turn. Modify a 2 by 7 random area into mobile gems at the end of the countdown. And the Swanton Bomb, 8 MP, deal 134k damage, plus 29k bonus damage for every mobile gem. Obviously, you would want to use this for, like, in a mobile boss like we had once in the past. Uh... He puts out 14 um, per one, so like 28 immobile gems. So pretty healthy amount for a boss battle. You also can recycle it to a point. Um, the fact that they only bring eight black MP would hurt in a boss battle. The fact that this is four means you need more than a three match to refill this. Um, potentially, if you get a swipe of green, you could be stacking these and filling that, which is my thought process for having um, Seth on there. For more green gems on the starting board and then a match. So like you could do um, a green swipe um, after dropping the, the avalanche and then drop another avalanche. That may or may not be best strategy when boss rolls around, but it's kind of what I was thinking there. Uh, that and then the fact that the rock uh, only adds 35% to immobiles when your base is 30k it's really only about <clears throat> like 15k or something not super significant obviously uh hogan at six stars super whaley rare whatever you want to call it this is more for just to show like a boss battle thing than anything else you wouldn't probably ever run this um outside of a boss battle that i can think of so hogan it is and same thing with eddie um, for the immobile gem damage. Even with those 74k, 28 gems at 74k. Um, let's see what my calculator says that math is. That's 2 million. But it's not necessarily a fast 2 million, so we're just going to go against Ivar. Uh, we'll go back to Dom on the next two builds. Um, probably. Yes. We would. Obviously, this wouldn't be loaded, so we're going to pretend like it's not. Also, uh, it would do nothing. We do have the green match, so... That means we would be able to drop them again in boss. Ivar, of course, is going to fill its moves. You can see this maybe a little bit on the... Oh, I gotta switch the speed back. Now that that travesty of a match is over. Hmm. Thanks, Ivar. Also managing not to pin. I'm sure he's gonna go right So 
sometimes. Can't really. Okay. All right. Okay. There's the 28. There's the 2 million. And here's the finisher, 480k. Change all of those green. Obviously, for this one, the KO plate would be really good. Um, that's the make the mobile gems increase your green gem damage by, I think it's 150%. I don't have that. That's the new one this weekend for Showdown. Um, I think it's going to be an ultimate. We could look at the store real quick and we can make sure. One benefit, I guess, to doing this late is it's actually in the prize wall. So, that's that move set. It's not going to blow you away, um, but it might be extremely good for boss battle. So I do think that. As for the KO plate, it would be quite good for that. If it is an ultimate, like it said in the blog, I need to relook at this. If it's silver border, it's ultimate. It's not. It's regular. Okay, so the blog said ultimate. Brown border means regular. Whenever you make six or more mobile gems increase your green gem damage by 150 percent your black move damage by 250 percent so that would obviously be good for the moves that we just saw for boss battle but it's also would be great for the next one we're gonna <coughs> excuse me the next one we're gonna see i'm sorry um which is this one uh the silver ones you can see the difference here you may not know this the silver ones are ultimate brown borders are not so unless this somehow uh changes that um, let's also check here. The blog originally said ultimate. This doesn't say anything about ultimate either, so... I don't know, I would not assume that's ultimate because it's brown border. Anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Back to Dom now. So we're just going to move this one move in, which is the super kick, which is pretty dang good. 8 MP black, deal 484k damage. That's a big one, and force your opponent to skip their turn for two turns. So obviously, um, the KO plate would buff the finisher in this, would also buff the green gems, be a fantastic plate for this. Um, also good is the... Um, Hogan plate would be good as well. Just break gems and increase your black move damage and red move damage. Anyway, did I save a loadout? No, that would have been smart. Um, for this one to work in like a feud, you will need Santa Hogan and you will need NWO Ted for the green MP. Then you start um, with the Juggernaut move loaded. If you try and do this without that, and without 17k Santa, this is not going to work for you in few. So if this is the move set you want to go with, you need NWO Ted. You won't be able to use one of the move damage guys or any of that stuff for few. And you also need a 17k Santa to make this work for few. Okie dokie. This is obviously where the black move damage metal is really going to come into play. So in feud, the juggernaut uh, move would be loaded right away. So stun. So you can see the stun is 1.48 million. So it's also going to get refilled after we drop this. A uh, green match would be ideal. We don't have any green matches. It's fine. It shouldn't matter too much. So we have two turns of stun. Now we have another stun. Okay, 
make our swipe. You guys already know what the finisher does. That KO plate would be pretty spicy for this build set. We got a nice cascade, so we filled the stun again, which is fan freaking tastic. And I'd prefer green matches if possible. Keep these juggernauts coming. Boom, 1.5 million again. Obviously this build set's quite control. Great thing about getting the Juggernaut gems down because of that green swipe is it really puts us ahead of the game. Um, and next turn we'll already have the stun filled in. So it's pretty much well in hand and over at this point. Again, that KO plate would be pretty saucy for this. Hogan plate as well would buff the black move damage, not the green gem damage. So obviously the KO plate. If you can get it, it would be much better in this situation. Hmm. And I apologize for my voice. Right? Certainly gonna do it. Okay. Uh, last move set, but I'm gonna run this twice. Once with normal stuff and once with really good stuff. Um, it's really good. This is what I think his best move set's gonna be. Right here. So, <clears throat> let's get this set up and we'll take a look uh, regular trainer wise and then we'll use some rare stuff and you can tell me what you think in the comments of the video. So, we're bringing the sub back, taking the finisher out, and we're bringing the area move back and taking the juggernaut move out. So, you've seen all the moves before. Entourage, we're just keeping the normal stuff for now. You don't need Santa Hogan for this. But I'm going to put China in for blue gem damage. Black move damage would be fine. Doesn't matter. Whatever you have. Gooker, whatever. Okay. All right. recycles um, and flows a little bit faster than the previous build that's why I like this one better just start off with the stun and moves right to the sub or not the sub I'm sorry the area then to the sub You don't really care about the power gems in this one, so literally you could just try and do damage if you want. With your gems, just save a couple to be safe. You need a striker, they're black gems. That was 500 extra K, right? This just feels a little bit better than the other one to me, even without rare stuff, with rare stuff. This one's going to get significantly better in my opinion.
600k on that. Anyway, I think you get the idea. Um, Ko is a control guy. He's not super fast this way. However, he can get certainly get faster if you have the right stuff. That's gonna make him interesting to attempt to place on my roster based on what he has or what you have more I guess um, I think it's maybe where he'll place plus you know maybe you're a KO mark it's obviously a very good KO but I think you're gonna be um, if you have a lot of stuff for him, it's pretty pretty impressive. Okay, and that will wrap it up for that one. Now let's get some different stuff on here, including a skill plate. I keep this short because it's in the middle of showdown, and my skill plate that I'm gonna throw on here is sitting on my butch. Here's my defense for showdown. And my offense, so here we go. We stop cascading. Excellent. Okay. So this is I think for sure KO's best. I mean, assuming you don't get the KO plate and you do have the Hogan plate. So we're gonna line him up with all of the stuff. Um we're taking out because this build doesn't need oh uh Ted. Turn this off because this is no longer. If you got EO, that's 100% black move damage. If you have Gooker, again, this is the rare stuff. You saw it without it. Now you're going to see it with it if you want to watch this. That's all the move damage. Um, yes, and now we're going to add a plate. Whenever you break 20 plus gems, increase your red gem damage by 200%. We don't care about that. But increase your black move damage by 300% for two turns. 300% is a crap load. Yeah. So this is a fully loaded KO. You can see starting off the super kick is 2 million. The cannonball is 600,000. But 2 million for the super kick. into the cannonball which is going to break 21 gems minimum and set off the open blade says 5 million if I'm not mistaken it does and this is 1.3 million and I think Dome's gonna say goodnight Gracie Dome's definitely saying goodnight Gracie okay it's okay oh. he's pretty interesting he's very controlled I think how good he is depends on what you have, like, for real. I mean, EO, obviously, is a big deal. The Hogan plate's a big deal. 
He's kind of like a little bit like Hall of Fame Perfect in that he's going to stun lock and win. And how quickly he wins depends on how much stuff you put on him. Um, right now, let's take a look at my master. So, <clears throat> class. Let's, so who am I missing at striker first? Because that's always important. Because generally, I tend to forget someone exists if I don't have them. And there's plenty I don't have. I know I don't have Cross, and I know I don't have Cody. Cody, um... Macho King, Cross, Macho's not going to be a factor. So Cody, Cross, and Andre, I think, are the big ones here as far as fighters go, right? I mean, Goldberg's trainer is incredible. He's not on their level as a fighter. Uh, yeah, those two. So Cross, Andre, and Cody are the ones I don't have. Um, I don't see... With no tag link, at least at the moment, I don't see KO being a showdown guy. Uh, showdown looks like it's going to be dominated by tag link people or one charge moves moving forward. So I don't see him useful for that. Um, he's certainly not as good as Rocker. Uh, Butch is massive in showdown, I'm finding out. Very massive. Um, boss battle, okay, KO immobile. It's probably one of the better ones that's going to be there, so I love him for boss battle. Trainer is really good. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like, I feel like Lashley with the Lashley's jacket is going to be faster than KO, unless you're putting, like, a Hogan plate on him and EO, and I think it's pretty similar. I think Cross is probably better. Um... I think Cody's probably better. Uh, I think Andre's certainly better in Feud. Um, KO for Boss Battle, Showdown, probably neither of them. Andre definitely for Feud, though, especially if you have some nice stuff. Um, so I kind of think he's in that, that tier down, and depending what you want to do, he's certainly no rocker, right? Uh, no one is, though. Um all around at what Rocker can do. So, um, I think he's like a upper guy. I think how much you like him depends on how much you like stuns. People love stuns. I found that out. Uh, so a lot of people are going to like him. I think he's like better than Hall of Fame Perfect, assuming you have nice stuff. He's going to be at like a two, probably a two cycle win most of the time if you have a ton of good stuff. Three cycle win, four cycle win if you don't. A little slow for my taste. Um, well, I like the trainer. There's no one I'm using that I can think of right off, like I could with, like, Bailey. Um, so I don't know if I would take him right away on my roster. Do I think he's very good? Yeah. Um, I think a mobile boss rolls around. I think he's going to be clutch, and I think that's his primary usage is as a mobile, um, a mobile boss guy, and also for the, the training ability. So... He's one I don't think you have to six star um, until you do, if that makes sense. If we get into mobile boss, I think he's pretty much probably going to be the guy. Other than that, I think he's really good. Uh, I don't think he does anything uh, particularly unique um, other than the immobile stuff. So I guess that's what I'm where I, what I'm saying is I think he's a really good fighter. I don't think he's the best. I certainly don't think he's the worst. And I think he's a really good trainer. Don't think he's the best. Don't think he's the worst. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. This video is way longer than I wanted it to be. I hope you guys find it helpful. Um, remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there.